In this video, we will demonstrate the use of and derivation of the elastic head-on collisions shortcut equation. An elastic collision is one where both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. In the mathematical derivation, we start with conservation of momentum. We collect the terms for each of the masses on the two sides. We repeat for conservation of kinetic energy, which is true for elastic collisions, collecting the terms for mass on each side. Because we have differences of squares, we can expand this expression out algebraically on each side. If we divide the second equation by the first equation, we get the following expression, which can be rearranged as thus. The interpretation of this equation is that the relative velocity after the collision is equal to the negative of the relative velocity before the collision. In this example, the relative velocity of the two balls is 0 minus 1 meters per second before the collision. And after the collision, it is 0.5 minus negative 0 0.5 meters per second for a total of positive 1 meters per second. Because kinetic energy is scalar and momentum is a vector, this is an algebraic solution only. It is not generally applicable to physics. Use this only for head-on elastic collisions. Alternatively, you can use this to test head-on collisions whether or not they are elastic. As a counterexample of where the equation cannot be used, consider a glancing collision. Calculate the relative velocity in the x direction and y direction before the collision. And compare with the relative velocity in the x direction and y direction after the collision. Use this equation along with the conservation of momentum only in elastic head-on collisions.